Hello everyone and welcome to Aries All Over The Place. I am Aerie and today I'm here to just give you a quick video of something that is a work from home opportunity. If you are interested in making some extra cash on the side by becoming a freelancer through a site called Upwork, I'm here to show you and tell you how you can do so. Please ignore the palms in the background. I just finished recording another video for my other channel, which is Rising with Dawn Dance Co. So if you are into dance, choreography, pro cheer dance, any of those things, head over to that channel and subscribe. I have some great content there. Speaking of content, on this channel, I've been promising for months now to be able to bring you guys some things about work from home opportunities. So today is the day that I'm going to get back to doing that for you guys. At the start of the year, I think I want to start a little segment, something fun. Don't hold me to it, but like a Monday, money making Monday type of situation where each Monday I will come to you with a new new video showcasing a work from home opportunity. So with this video, I'm going to be talking about freelancing through a site called Upwork. So it's actually not one opportunity. There are multiple opportunities available on this site. So I'm going to get into showing you how I set up my profile, what my profile looks like, the money that I've made on Upwork and how you can find work. So first I'm gonna tell you how I heard about Upwork. I was ear hustling. I was on set for a television show or movie or something like that. And I was standing in line for costuming and I heard someone mention that they quit their full-time job and that they just do freelance work from home. And the person asked, well, how did you get into that? And they're like, oh, I just made a profile on Upwork. I have a mental notebook. So as soon as I heard that, I repeated it to myself three times under my breath. And I remembered as soon as I got home to get on there and see exactly what Upwork was about. And I set up a profile and I actually got some gigs. So when I first got on Upwork, I actually got on there for resume writing um, because I just wanted to make some extra cash on the side. But I'm also a voice actor and a voiceover artist and narrator. So I actually found that I could find work on Upwork doing voiceover. And since then, I have multiple clients that I am still contracted with and still work for and do gigs from here and there. We have an ongoing relationship. And and you literally can get on there daily and find work. I don't necessarily get on there daily and I got away from it for a while and really didn't hone into it the way that I should have. But now I am getting revved back up on there. I went and updated my profile a little bit and my bio and everything. And I've actually been invited to interview for more positions rather than me having to submit proposals upfront for positions. So you can get there as well. And I'm gonna tell you how you can do that also. All right, so I'm going to head over to my computer and I'm just going to show you a screen capture of my profile and the way that you can find work on Upwork. All right, guys, so I'm going to quickly take you through my profile so that you can kind of see how the website works and how you can submit two different jobs that are available on the site. So here, obviously, you can see my profile, my profile picture, my name, where I'm located. You can see here a quick bio of myself giving an overview of my experience as well as my voiceover training. My hourly rate is 200 per hour. So this is my standard rate that I charge for doing any project. So obviously clients are posting jobs and they actually post what they are willing to pay. It is completely up to you whether or not you want to accept what they are offering or not. For each job that you apply for, you are able to give your rate in your proposal as well. Some clients will specifically state that they are looking for the client with the lowest rates. So if it's really a job that you really want to do, you don't want to knock them over the head with too much of a cost because there may be somebody else out there who's offering the same position um, or the same uh, work for less. But you also don't want to sell yourself short. If you know that the job they're asking for is worth more money, you absolutely can name your price. So on the left, you can see here, it says two total jobs. I've gotten more jobs through Upwork than two. Um, I have recurring clients. So I guess I have two clients that I actually work with on an ongoing basis. So they still pay me. Um, through Upwork, but then there are some that are sometimes offline. So they have my email address. We communicate via email and we just do business that way. So Upwork has definitely granted me more connections outside of the site. But just so you can see there that um, $600 in earnings from two jobs. So again, not bad. I have my voiceover demo there. You can see some of the work history. In the past, I did a jingle 
few jingles for a client, which is also, he's ongoing as well. And um, I'm still doing jingles for him actually, but he pays me offline. A uh, voiceover for animated characters. That's also something that I did that is showing here. Again, I have my voiceover demo there. I have some ads that I did for Georgia State University Sports Marketing. Again, something that I did off of Upwork, which is put here as a sample. A graduation card that I did, a voiceover for, I put that here as a sample. A commercial for a drone company that I've done, I put that here as a quick sample. So I don't put all of my samples on my profile because I need something to submit when I am submitting to a proposal, I need to be able to send them other clips that they can't necessarily see on my profile. Um, just for them to listen to and hear my voice and hear the versatility in my voice. So I don't put everything here. But again, on the left, you see my training, history, my native language, which is English. So yeah, I'm strictly voiceover on here, but I'm going to show you how you can find so many other positions that you may be looking for. So you obviously go to find work. Let's just give a quick overview of what you see here. So to the right over here, just what you're seeing is, is talking about my visibility is public, 100%, my profile is complete. Proposals, three active candidacies, three submitted proposals, 24 available connects. So three submitted proposals mean that I've applied to three positions here on Upwork that are still active. Three active candidacies means that um, two of those I actually was invited to interview for and it's still active and one of them is one of the submitted proposals that I sent so I'm still waiting on them to send me scripts or waiting on them to you know give me direction on what they need me to do in order to complete the job so again you can see here all of the different jobs that are posted just on the home page photographer videographer content creator HubSpot expert copy editor writer blog writer online researchers needed tons of writing jobs tons of customer service jobs i'm actually going to type in customer service just so that you can see what's available there because that's a pretty broad industry so you see here it says customer care team member with expert customer service experience so 30 plus hours a week, so full-time job they're looking for was posted a day ago. There's only 5 to 10 proposals there, so that's actually really good. Maybe because they do not have an hourly rate listed, so that may be why they don't have a lot of proposals submitted. But basically, you can just read through the job description and what they are offering. Growing company needs an awesome customer support representative. This was just posted 26 minutes ago. They have 10 to 15 proposals, so not a whole lot. Um, they need two people. Uh, so let's read more about this one. So it tells you about the company, um, tells you about their clientele, job description, what they're looking for, how you would do the job. All of that is there. Um, I actually just saw this up like a minute ago and they only had about five proposals. So they're already up to 15. So these things move fairly quickly. You don't need to get discouraged though, because for me, I pay very close attention to two things. I pay attention to how long ago the job was posted, obviously what they're paying, and how many proposals have already been submitted. So if it's a job that was posted a whole day ago, 24 hours ago, and they've got like 50 to 100 proposals already submitted, I'm not going to waste my time. Why? Because I know that when I log on here tomorrow morning, it's going to be a new position that's pretty much offering the same thing that was posted 10 minutes ago that I have a better shot at getting because I can submit my proposal within those first five that they'll see. So those are things that I would suggest you pay attention to just so that you can get your resume, your bio, your proposals in front of the client's eyes quicker is to pay attention to how long ago the position was posted and how much they're offering as well as the proposals that have already been submitted. Um, an appointment setter, 10 to to $100, that's a really broad spectrum. So I would be curious to understand what they're actually paying hourly for that. Um, it's only less than 10 hours a week, so it's part-time. It was posted just 40 minutes ago. They only have five proposals or less that have been submitted. So that's also something to think about because it's been up for 40 minutes, but they have less than five proposals. There may be a reason why. Um, maybe because the doesn't look like there's any more to read as far as the actual description of the job. So that may be why. Also, the fact that it's saying 10 to to $100. The where in between that is what you're paying. So 
I can understand why they would have less than five. Also, this right here is probably turning people away. People do not like cold calling. So, definitely not something I would submit to. Sales representative, 30 to $50, three to six month contract, less than 10 hours a week, posted about an hour ago. Again, gives you a full explanation of everything that they are offering. Less than five, proposals submitted. Take a look at the job descriptions and see if it's something that you want to do. Schedule or telemarketer. Again, less than five. A lot of people do not like cold calling. They do not like telemarketing. But if it's something that you're good at and something that you want to do, go ahead and do it. All right, what's something else? Let's type in data entry. Tons of data entry jobs. Data entry clerk, 16 to $26. An expert posted about a day ago. See, they have about 20 to 50 proposals already submitted, so your chances are slimmer. Not, not totally out of the loop, but slimmer. Whereas with this one, it was posted 23 minutes ago. They only have five proposals, 15 to $21. Um, 10 to 30 hours a week, so part-time, but you can definitely get some hours in. More data entry. Again, you just read through the descriptions of the job and see if it's something that is worth it to you. This is a fixed price one, data entry and scrubbing for company marketing list. They're offering $1,800 for you to do just one job. So you may read this and say, okay, this is definitely something that I absolutely can do for $1,800. I sure can. But again, you have to pay attention to the timing. So this was posted two hours ago. The fact that they have up to 50 proposals already, people are on that. They saw that right there and they say, oh yes, get on this quickly. Um, what's another one? Resume writing. Um, I actually did do some resume writing on here as well and got a couple jobs that were quick and easy. All right, so people need to revise a federal government resume, pays $300 just for you to do the one job. Resume writer needed to create a resume and cover letter. They do not have a price, so you can name your price. Resume edit. Can resume and LinkedIn update and career coaching, resume writer, online resume. So many quick and easy things that you can literally do from home that you are skilled at doing on your own. If you're good at writing your own resume, why can't you fix one for someone else? That's what made me decide that I was going to get on there and do that because my resume was the bomb, okay? So again, on the left, you can filter your um, suggestions if you want an hourly rate, a fixed price, entry level, intermediate, ex expert, number of proposals. You can limit it down to that so you don't have to waste your time looking at something that's got 50 proposals. Your budget, if you're like, I don't want anything less than $100, then you can go ahead and filter that out. This is definitely a really great platform for you to make some extra money from home, especially right now during the holidays. The money gets dropped directly into your escrow account here on Upwork and then at the end of the month you are able to deposit that directly into your bank account. Um, it's good for working from home. People are losing jobs all over the place but people also need people to do work from home for them because their offices are not open. So it's just a really great platform. I can't stress it enough. Just take advantage of it. Let me show you just really quick how I find voice over work. Um, need a voice narrator for multiple short two to four minute video clips posted 20 minutes ago. Um, look at that. Now who do they think about to do this for seven dollars? And that's exactly why this says this. What? No. Um, voiceover artist for a YouTube channel 40 minutes ago. They have less than five. 80 bucks. Not bad. Looking for a voiceover professional for a number of animated characters for a YouTube finance channel. Probably is a quick job, 80 bucks. Not bad. Fixed price, voiceover, ten dollars. Forty-nine minutes ago, less than five proposals. You want somebody to talk about football on YouTube for ten dollars? Yeah, no. Uh, make a small video with voiceover on how to install a small lamp onto a lamp fixture. So they want you to do a little work there, but they're offering five hundred dollars for you to do it less than five proposals because everybody may not have a lamp just on hand but 500 bucks to do something quick and easy not bad at all um mature voice 
female narrator for an audiobook for 16,000 words for $175. Yeah, I don't think so, sweetie. $175 for 16,000 words? I would have to calculate that. It doesn't look like that's enough money to pay for an audiobook of that caliber. Um, but again, you are submitting proposals. You can name your price. You can let these people know like, Hey, I can do the job for you, but this is what I'm worth, baby. Okay. Um, animated characters for cartoon series. You guys get the point. You get the gist of how you can find so much work right here on Upwork. Let me show you again how that invitation thing works. So I don't want to share too much of my business, but I do want to show you this message here. So you can see here, I'd like to invite you to take a look at a job that I've posted. Please submit a proposal if you're available and interested. So I can view the proposal. I can view the job. She was looking for a voice actress for a YouTube channel. So this one is still active, still waiting to hear back from her on the project and how she wants me to complete the job because I did accept it. Um, but again, it just shows you how you can be invited. If people check out your profile, you make your profile um visible first of all you have it complete by 100 percent and you make it attractive to the eye of people who are looking for clients to work for them you absolutely can be invited to submit proposals and you don't have to worry about spending these all right so let's talk a little bit about connects you can see here connects are how you essentially pay for your proposals that you submit so you don't have to pay a fee to apply to a job, but certain jobs will cost you a certain amount of connects, usually anywhere between two to four connects per job. When I first got on Upwork, the connects just rolled over. You got a certain amount of free once you registered an account with Upwork. Then they went to where they were charging per connect, but now they have gone back to providing free connects for um, proposals. So there's a way for you to win connects and there's also free connects when you register. You get 80, I believe, when you first register now on Upwork and you get 10 free connects each month. So your connects also roll over up to 200. Mine always roll over because like I said, I don't really submit to a whole lot of jobs here on Upwork yet, but I'm sure it will get to a point where I might need to upgrade to a plan, which if you get a plan, you can get up to 80 free connects each month. All right. So again, guys, as you could see, um, I've made over $600 just by doing a couple of gigs. Um, I do have some things that are still sitting in my account waiting to be paid out um, I didn't want to show you that because it does have personal information on that particular screen but again I just do things on here part-time and whenever I have time to go on here and just do a quick job you can pay for a cup of coffee pay for a meal um, pay a couple bills but there are absolutely opportunities where you can work full-time and make a full-time income if you put the work into applying for the positions that are here available so whether you're just looking for a little extra money or you are looking for a full-time position or full-time hours worth of work upwork is definitely something that you can take advantage of all right guys so i hope that you enjoyed that overview of the site if you have any questions just drop them in the comments below i will definitely get back to you again there's so many opportunities there on upwork so many different ways to search things out I will say Upwork is very strict on identification. So they do verify your ID often. So they ask you to submit a photocopy of your driver's license so that they can make sure that you are who you say you are. They come across a lot of scams and people in different countries who are trying to lure people into certain situations that they should not be in. So they definitely take your identification very seriously. Sometimes they even call you to verify over the phone or do a FaceTime or Skype with you to verify that you are who you say you are. So if you're a very private person and you are the type of person that doesn't like to write your name on things, Upwork may not be for you because I will tell you that at some point they are gonna ask you to verify your ID. And um, if you're not comfortable doing that, then 
your profile will be shut down. So if you want to be able to have these opportunities, it's just like any other job. You got to give your information when you get hired. It's the same with Upwork. Well, all right, that's all I have for you now. Again, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below. Um, check out the description. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel as well, because like I said, come the start of 2021, I definitely want to come back here more often and give you guys some tips and suggestions on places that you can absolutely make money from home. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye.